Hello, this is Mark again. I just got this book in the mail. This, the first, well, there are three Enochs, the three books of Enoch. And basically they seem to be versions of each other. And it has another book in it too. Um, and the book is about that thick. Um... It was supposedly originally in the Bible, the books of Enoch. Let me turn up my light here. The books of Enoch were supposedly originally in the Bible. They were in, this says they were in the Ethiopic Bible. And the first book of Enoch is just called the book of Enoch a lot of times. The Ethiopic Bible from Ethiopia, or from the um, people who the Ethiopians came from because... They've divided it into different countries now. And it was in the Slavonic Bible. And somebody said, I think it was originally in the in the um, in our Bible, but they took it out. They took it out of the Western canon. Um, they took it out of the Bible, and it is scripture. It is exciting to have a new book, a new prophecy. And I want to read it. And this proves that I was right about what I said about the age of Aquarius. Right about what I said about um, uh, the the people of the wicked of the earth being destroyed in the age of Aquarius. It says the words. Uh, this is section one, chapters one through thirty six. Enoch, first Enoch, the book of Enoch. The words of the blessings of uh, uh, blessing of Enoch, wherewith he blessed the elect and righteous as I was, as I've said before the the righteous and the elect will be blessed if you call yourself a christian and you don't care about what's right and what's wrong you'll burn in hell the words of the blessing of enoch wherewith he blessed the elect and the right and righteous who will be living in the day of tribulation so I said I said the righteous will go through the tribulation who will be living in the day of, of tribulation when all the wicked and godless will be are, are to be removed and I said that before the wicked will be will be cleared from the earth and only the righteous will live in it that's why it says the, the, the why Jesus says the the, um, the meek will inherit the earth and it talks about that in this first chapter. When all when all the way all the wicked all the wicked and godless are to be removed, and he took up his parable and said, Enoch, a righteous man whose eyes were opened by God, saw the vision of the Holy One in the heavens, which the angel showed me, and from and from them I heard everything. And from them I understood it as I saw. But not for this generation, but for a remote one. But for a remote one. Our generation is for the age of Aquarius, which we are now in. We are in the age of Aquarius, which is for to come. To come. Concerning the elect, I said, and took up my parable concerning them, the Holy One will come forth from his dwelling, and the eternal God will tread upon the earth on Mount Sinai and appear. I think this might have been written before Moses. Probably was. I mean, it had to have been, because Enoch lived way before Moses. And appear in the strength of his might from the heaven of heavens well it might, might have been written when Moses was I mean, I, I, Enoch was taken so he was so he wasn't around when Moses was here and and all shall be smitten with fear all shall be struck with all will be struck with fear and the watchers shall quake I'm not sure what the watchers mean and great fear and trembling shall seize all will seize all will seize them unto the ends of the earth and great fear and trembling does that sound like judgment, right? And great fear and trembling will seize them unto the ends of the earth. And the high mountains will be shaken. 
and that's, a, that's Aquarius. Aquarius is what's high. Aquarius pours down his water from a height. That's why we, that's what we, why we say rain represents Aquarius and snow represents Aquarius. This is during the winter. The sign is during the winter. And the high mountains shall be shaken, will be shaken, and the high hills will be made low and will melt like wax before the flame. Aquarius that's, represents the ejaculation. A man's ejaculation, which is uh, which is represented here, melt like wax before the flame. Flame is the opposite sign, Leo. We're in the sign of Aquarius, Leo, and Leo has is, is heat because it represents the sun. And the earth earth will be wholly rent in sunder, split apart, and all that is upon the earth will perish. All and all that is upon the earth will perish, and there will be a judgment upon all. But with the righteous, as I've said before, God is judging the wicked. He's not judging. He's, he's not. He's not judging the righteous. He's judging those who claim themselves to be Christians. He's judging those people that say, "I'm a Christian," and they fornicate. Um, it's not just that. They don't stop there. You know, they, they, they bow before angels, such as Satan, Satanists. They molest children. They lie, they cheat, they steal. They abuse verbally and physically and sexually. But with the righteous, and, and, and there shall be judgment upon all, but with the righteous, he will make peace. Well, he will make peace and will protect the elect and mercy will be upon them. And they will all belong to God and they shall be prospered and they will be all, well, they will all be blessed and he will help them all and light shall appear unto them and light shall appear to them and he will make peace with them. And see, he cometh with, this is the end. This after this reign of Christ, he comes the end. And this is quoted in Jude, I think. And it says, and see, he cometh with ten thousands of his holy ones to execute judgment upon all and to destroy all the ungodly. Now, it's not about whether you say you're a Christian. There are a lot of people that say they're Christians. They won't do that for much longer because the revelation, the times of the revelation and the book of Enoch are coming to fruition or at least it's starting. It's starting. And behold, and see he cometh, comes with, with ten thousands of his holy ones to execute judgment upon all and to destroy all the ungodly. And to convict all flesh and all the works of their righteousness and all the works of their ungodliness, which they have ungodly committed. This is in the book of Jude or in the book or in the book of first, second Peter. I don't remember which. And all the works of their ungodliness, which they did, which they ungodly committed or did and all the hard things. This Bible says this, I think it, it, it's, it's either in Jude or 2 Peter. They're both short enough. You can look it up yourself. And of all the hard things which ungodly sinners spoke against him. God is coming to judge these ungodly sinners. This is coming now in the age. Of course, he says it's not for his time, not for his generation, but for a generation far ahead. Enoch was taken from the earth um, when Adam was alive, apparently. He's coming to judge all ungodly sinners. And there will be a blessing for the righteous. And the Bible says this in the Old Testament and also says it in Revelation. 
you know, there will be a judgment on the beasts that is coming. I say the beast will be here by 2033 because that's when, when uh, the large age of Aquarius and the small age of Aquarius line up. The, the age of Aquarius for 33 years, we're in the age of Pisces. We're in the age of Aquarius, but we're in the age of Pisces. Next is the age of Aquarius, the 2000 year age of Aquarius, and the 33 year, 33 year, year age, 33 uh, year age of Aquarius. And after that, we'll have the mark of the beast. But first, we have to have the following. The way we're not far from that, media has told people, you know, get away from God. They say, stop doing what's righteous. They always say that. They say, sleep who you want to sleep with. It's like the song, I used to listen to it when I was just, just about an adult, early adult. It said, go where you want to go, do what you want to want to do with whomever you want to want to do with it. Do, want to want to do. Go where you want to go, do what you want to do with whomever you want to do, want to do with, do, want to do with it. Whatever it goes. So, Revelation is coming. The book of Enoch is coming. The righteous, the, the wicked are building up and building up, converting otherwise righteous men to their cause. And Jesus said, he who holds fast to the end, he will be saved. All right, bless you. This has been Mark.